All right, let's try this again. <laughs> let's try this again. Um, man, with a snowstorm, in addition to COVID, you know, ravaging college basketball in the state of Texas, you already know things are about to get crazy. And with three weeks left to go before conference championships, four weeks before Selection Sunday, it is a interesting time in the world of college basketball. Interesting time indeed, let me tell you that. Again, things are moving around as we speak, so um, yeah, games are games are probably going to be harder to come by. But we do have some interesting stuff going on this week. Um, Virginia, Florida State. I did say I was going to watch Florida State this week. Finally, get a chance to get at, at, at the Seminoles and at the Cavaliers. You know, because I, 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 I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's been hard trying to watch an ACC game this year because of you know how 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 down the conference has been this year. It's been a down year for the ACC, and you know things are going to get better. Things are going to get better with this tournament, you know, coming up. And who knows how many teams opt out that have left, you know, who knows what in the world's going to happen with COVID and stuff like that. Um, but as we move on through the week here, I think the team to watch is going to be, I don't know, maybe Arkansas, maybe maybe I don't know. It could be Arkansas. Arkansas has moved into the top 25. Kansas is back in as well, you know, but, you know, obviously, big-time matchups are what we're here for, and the Big 12 is providing those throughout the week, along with the Big 10, so the same narrative as it has been the last two months. <laughs> I don't know when, it's still to be determined when this Texas-Oklahoma game will be played. Again, snow has been a factor, and things are not looking up right now, but, Hopefully we get to see the second round of this Texas Oklahoma, you know, matchup. So I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. You know, because um, we got embarrassed by Oklahoma. You know, we got embarrassed with 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 COVID. You know, ravaging our team a couple weeks back. We got embarrassed. Yeah, we still had a chance to win, but we got embarrassed by the Sooners. We got absolutely embarrassed. I was so upset. Let me tell you. Um, there's not a lot on Thursday, to be completely honest. You know, just just keep in mind, you know, San Diego State's also back in the top 25 as well. Um, there's Illinois, I mean, not Illinois, Iowa, Wisconsin, but again, Wisconsin's very inconsistent. I, I'd start talking about, you know, who's on the bubble right now, because there are a lot of teams on the bubble, especially in smaller conferences that are dominating, like Western Kentucky. You know, I think... You know, those smaller schools definitely need more of a chance as well. But back to my point here, you know, Wisconsin's been very consistent. Iowa's been kind of iffy on defense, but it's okay. And then we go to Saturday, you know, Florida State again. They'll have a, another ranked matchup with Virginia Tech. That's going to be interesting there. I'm probably going to watch that as well. Um... I don't know when Arizona USC will will be happening, but I do know USC is playing Arizona State also this week. So there's that. Um, again, you know, Big Twelve and Big Ten have been most of the focus here. You know, on this channel, the past two months, two three months now. Um, there's Texas Tech Kansas. Again, that's going to be one hell of a matchup. West Virginia Texas also going to be one hell of a matchup. You know, just a bunch of damn good games. Oklahoma State Baylor also going to be damn good. Oklahoma State may not be ranked right now. They may have dropped out of the rankings for the time being, but it's going to be good. It'll be good to see them go up against Baylor a second time. So I saw the first matchup, and it was kind of rough, you know, with no K Cunningham. But he's he's in he's here for this Baylor matchup this time. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's still some teams that need to play for their tournament lives, like Duke, North Carolina, Michigan State. You know, again, teams on the bubble. But the biggest, biggest matchup of the week is obviously Michigan-Ohio State. Now, this this right here is going to be 
just absolutely amazing. This is for a number one seed. One of these two teams, I think, will earn the number one. Will earn a number one seed. Baylor, Zaga will have the other ones, but both these teams could earn a number one seed. We saw last Saturday, you know, the um, the bracket reveal, the preview bracket that has you know the sixteen teams, the top sixteen, and. Honestly, you know, whoever wins this matchup, whoever continues to dominate, will have a number one seed. And I'm thinking, you know, it could be Ohio State. I'm honestly thinking it could be Ohio State that gets this other number one seed. And I think, you know, that aside from Ohio State, the last number one seed will go to probably Villanova. Or another Big Ten team, like Illinois. Or it could be these very same Michigan Wolverines that get the last number one seed. So, honestly, that's what it comes down to. Illinois, I think, could get a number one seed. Ohio State, Michigan, and maybe Villanova. You know, so there you go with that. There's also plenty of other games throughout the week as well. And I'm not going to focus on those. You know, it is starting to come down to the wire. Yeah, Baylor is still undefeated. They haven't played it a couple days, so, you know, things are looking kind of weird. So, the Big 12, you get all that spotlight. All that spotlight on Saturday is on you. I'm going to be paying close attention. What the country needs to pay to close attention to this conference this weekend. And especially Sunday with this top, top five matchup, top four matchup. Let me tell you, definitely need to pay attention to this Michigan-Ohio State game. It's the game of the week. And... and Honestly, keep your eyes out on Florida State. Keep your eyes up. They're coming for a. F they're coming for that number four seed at least. They could. They could potentially go a bit higher, you know. But that'll do it. See you guys when I see you.